plant friends. Thanks for coming back to my channel. I know I have been a very sporadic YouTuber. Honestly, who cares? They're not paying me. So I've been a pretty busy person recently. And as you know, I already post sporadically. Excuse you. If you hear those noises, that is my dog, Mabel, chewing on an antler. She is taking up most of my time and she's a very good girl. So I have kind of dropped the ball on some plant stuff, um, but you know what? That's okay. Uh, life comes at you fast sometimes and um, that's all right. So today I thought I would talk about some of my winter plant fails. Um, because why not? Uh, first thing I wanna talk about is this Japortia versus Whiskey Eye. Its leaves are constantly down. I don't really know what I'm doing. I think it might actually be in a little bit too much light. But you see this leaf here? How it's all tattered on one side? Pretty terrible. That's thanks to Miss Mabel. No, she was not chewing on it. She does not chew on any of my plants, thankfully. But I would definitely get rid of my plants to keep you here. This Calathea used to sit where her kennel is. It now sits right next to the camera, right there on a coffee table. So it's slightly more light. But for a long time, I was battling a lot of like issues with this guy. Um, most notably a fungal infection. So I finally have that treated, but since then all of the leaves have been hanging down. It, it's just sad looking all the time. I, I'll probably need to repot this. There are three fans currently right now. I don't even know if you can tell. So see at the base here, this is where these guys grow out. They're kind of rhizomatous. <sighs> dirt okay it had more fans so it needed a bigger pot but those have since died since i was treating it for fungal infections and all that stuff and the other pieces they died they just died so what i'm gonna do when it gets a little warmer i'm gonna repot it into a smaller pot but i also think it's just getting too much light right like literally right here this happens to be a north facing window i don't have any buildings blocking me thankfully where we're at and because of how north we are in the spring and summer and it's gonna start happening here soon i get a little bit of east light in the morning and then a little bit of west light in the morning or in the evening and i think right here it's just too bright for it it, it needs some tlc and it will happen eventually so um let me grab another plant. I have a, I have quite a few plants that are pretty crappy right now. Yeah, let's actually, I'm gonna grab this guy. Ugh. So if you guys are new to my channel, you know I love this Begonia Pavanina. I, I don't know why the leaves keep doing this. I think it might be a fungal issue. Um, but uh, I've lost a lot of leaves like that. Um, it's not super happy right now. So what I, I have another one that's, yep, just broke off. All right, cool. So I'm probably gonna take some cuttings from this. Ugh, this poor thing. It's really suffered all winter and I think it's because of my lack of humidity. And this is not in a room with a humidifier. In the summer, it's more humid, so that's great. It was fine all summer, as you guys know. And it has some new growth coming in but most of the time it dies off and I think that's a humidity issue. What I think I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna take like three or four leaves off of this guy and um, kind of keep them all separate and like do a propagation method. Um, I had two props, both failed. So I am, I am one for three on propagation successes for my Begonia Pavanina. This is one of my prized plants and um, yeah. It's just a plant. It's just a plant. It's just, it just sucks. You know, it just sucks. Okay, let me put it back. I'll find something else that's really terrible. Oh, if you guys know what's causing these lighter colored leaves here, these are newer growths. They're lighter in color compared to this guy. And it's not because they have just grown in. These two are actually hardened off. This guy isn't. Normally this grows in with like bright red leaves and then it gets its blue, dark green tint later and it just they kind of stay light so if you know if it's a light thing or a lack of fertilizer thing or something let me know it's also pretty droopy you don't need to play no i know it's okay she's worried too but if you know if it's what kind of a issue it is let me know because i know it's not a water thing and 
I'm, I don't know. Okay. Oh, um, let me grab a Yeah, I know. Super interesting, isn't it? So this is my Monstera subpanata. You see some leaves down here. And what you can't really see up here is that this is just a runner. It has four leaves and the rest of it's a runner. What I'm gonna probably, I'm, I'm just gonna cut off the runner. That's, that's the long and short of it. I'm gonna cut off the runner and go from there. But I'm gonna wait till it warms up a little bit. As you guys know, Monstera put out runners if they're not in ideal conditions. And this guy's not in ideal conditions. It's in my north window. In the summer, it will be fine. I think it could probably stand to have a bit more humidity. Um, but it lived in my north window last year and it put out a bunch of leaves and I was able to take cuttings and send them to people. It's fine. It's a healthy plant. It grows quite a bit. So I'm just gonna chop it, uh, wet stick prop it, see what happens. Hopefully I get a couple more plants out of it and I can either trade or sell um, and then have some extra rent money or whatever. But this is, I mean, it's not a huge failure, but it's like, come on, man. Here's another begonia. It's a begonia medora. And it drops leaves, leaves left and right. Just pull off a chunk of a stem. Part of it is still alive. Part of it. Well, we'll see. It's in this terracotta pot, so I think it dries out a little too quickly. Because I watered these three days ago. I could probably... It's a small pot, so I could probably use another water. I know that begonia like to dry out, but they like to take their time drying out. So it is in an airy mix, but I think the terracotta pot is just, I think the terracotta pot is just a little bit too much for it. We'll, we'll see what happens come springtime. It does have some really pretty new growth though. Like, oh, here's another plant fail. Um, my begonia cracklin rosy. Beautiful plant, I love this plant. All the new leaves except for this one have dropped off. I'm terrified to actually like touch this guy. This leaf has almost officially hardened off. Look how cool that is though. It's like dark, it has pink spots and then the back sides of the leaves. Boom, blood red. And they come in blood red too, which is so cool. Ugh, why you do this? <sighs> okay, other than begonias dropping leaves, what can I show you? Oh, I'm gonna take you to a plant and I'm not gonna touch anything else after it. Here is my Thanatophyllum lickety split, formerly philodendron. This guy is just sad all the time. Leaves are bent in weird places. It has spots on it, kind of a mottled green. But there's these little tiny black dots, which thankfully have not spread to anything else. I think it's a type of bug. Yeah, you can see it really, really good down here. I think it's a type of bug. They haven't spread to any other plants, but there are no other plants in this immediate vicinity. There's that guy over there, but that's over like eight feet away. Yes, it could still spread. I don't know, it hasn't died yet. I have sprayed it and it just, I'm gonna put this outside and let it fend for itself. Those are my plant fails so far. There will be many more to come. I'm not too worried about it. I don't know. Anyway, thanks so much for stopping by. It would be lovely to have you back. Um, subscribe or don't, I don't really care, I guess. But like I said, it would be lovely to have you back. Uh, and as always, have a great time, I guess. Or whatever. Okay, bye.